Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today recipe we have birria tacos and let's get right to the recipe. So I am using chiles for this recipe, obviously it's Mexican re <laughs> Mexican recipe. Um, I am using four, I can't pronounce them, guajillo chiles, you know, two pasilla chiles and three anchos chiles so i open them and i remove the seeds so they don't it's not too spicy so i remove the seeds and i'm gonna boil it for about five minutes and let it soak for another 20 minutes and then after it's soaked i'm gonna go ahead and blend it so this is the type of meat i am using i am using the short beef chuck i'm using the beef shin and i'm using bone marrow for that extra flavor if you don't put bones, beef bones in your broth, I don't know. I don't know. You're missing out. Anyways, if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. And this is the chilies after they've cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and blend them. I'm using regular water to blend them because that water, I don't like the taste of it. So I'm going to go ahead and brown my meat just a little bit. Just a little color for extra flavor. You know, you know me. I like flavors. So go ahead and give that some color. Make it browned. You know, brown like brown skin girl <laughs> i know that's that was corny but anyways anyways if you have not please subscribe to my channel for more you'll get a notification every time i upload a new video don't forget to hit that bell button for the notification so once my meat is brown you see this it looks fucking beautiful like so beautiful oh wow so i'm gonna go ahead and transfer everything to my crock pot i forgot to mention i'm using a crock pot because that's the best way to cook beef it's the best way. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer all my stuff, my ingredients in the crock pot. Ooh, look at the meat. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Wow. So once you've transferred your meat to the crock pot, you're going to go ahead and add all the ingredients in the vegetables. Everything's going to go in the crock pot. So I am adding one large onion, one large carrot. I guess that's a secret. That's a secret. A lot of, not everybody put carrots in their birria, but I read some from some blogs. It makes it taste. It tastes really good. I've tried it and it tastes bomb. And I'm adding eight bay leaves. You need all that. Trust me. Ten cloves of fresh garlic. I love garlic. You can add two more extra if you want because garlic is just so bomb. So I am using fresh thyme for this recipe. You may use dry, but fresh thyme has better flavors, obviously. Um, I add about half of a teaspoon. I'm sorry, one teaspoon. So I added one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper and two tablespoons of oregano. And about a pinch of cinnamon. Not too much because you don't want to ruin the flavors. And about one teaspoon of cloves, ground cloves. You may use the whole cloves if you have, but just add four of, to it. I'm using this beef bouillon. I am using six of it. Um, if you don't want to use all that, you can use br um, beef broth instead. You will make it a little bit richer. So if you were to use beef broth, you would use just two little cubes and then beef broth because it has already all the flavors you need and I am using also two chicken bouillon cube and of course some salt about one teaspoon of salt don't forget to adjust the salt the seasoning because everybody has different taste buds and two tablespoons of ACV and of course the chipotle peppers but I'm going to add about four of them so I know I added the chipotle pepper like that in there, but I suggest that you blend it but instead. It's much better. I highly suggest you blend it. Just blend it. So this is all the chilies that I blended after they cooked. So I blended them and poured them. So I should have blended the chipotle too with that. I don't know what I was thinking. It was 6 in the morning, so I was pretty tired. That's probably why. Anyways, blend them. Highly suggest that. So after you add all of the, all of the ingredients, going to go ahead and add water. So I'm using 10 cups of water. I'm using hot water. So once you've put your water in there, set it up and then leave it alone for about six hours. 
I forgot to add my tomato paste, so I went back and added tomato paste. I was in bed and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't add tomato paste. So I added two tablespoons of tomato paste and one tablespoon of cumin. So this is the uh, consomme after six hours. It's delicious. It's very light. It's yummy. It's really good. And the meat is just so tender. It just, just, it just rips. It, look at it. See this? You, do you see that? Are you are you seeing this? Oh my god, this is legendary. This is legendary. Wow. Amazing. I am phenomenal. Like I am phenomenal. Look look what I did. <laughs> look what I did. Wow, Cindy, you did it again. You did it again. Anyways, I'm removing the ta the <laughs> the beef from the the meat from the um bra. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off my meat. So for the tacos, I am going to use the oil from the broth to um, to do the tacos because I didn't make chili oil. And this one is just has as much flavor as a chili oil. Well, not really, but it tastes as good. It's good oil to use. So that's the oil that I'm using for the, chi for the tacos. So I've got my condiments, my onion, I'm using white onion, purple onion, and um, cilantro, and of course lime. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off my meat, which is just like so tender. There's, I don't need to do much work into it. It's just like so soft already. So I'm going to take a piece some of that meat after I chop it up and put it back in the broth. And I'm going to leave the remaining for the tacos. So one thing you can do, which I did, I I strained it a little bit the broth because there was a lot of um, oregano leaves in there. So I did strain it a little bit. So you can do that. So this is the cheese I'm using. I'm using real authentic Mexican cheese. How are you making birria tacos without real Mexican cheese? I don't know. Anyways, that's none of my business. But mm. so yes, I'm using this real. It's a strain cheese. It's really good. So this is the tortillas. So once your pan is hot. You're going to go ahead and dip it in that oil and set it on the pan and let it fry. Let it get crispy. It's going to get so crispy. It's like it's crispy and like soft at the same time, which is so crazy. Yes, look at it. Oh, oh la la. Wow. 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 Flip it. Flip that. Flip it. Flip it. And once you flip it sides, you go ahead and start adding your meats inside. And the cheese, you're going to let the cheese melt a little bit. That cheese, I'm not going to lie, it took a little bit longer to melt comparing to mozzarella cheese, which melts so much faster. But hey, we're talking about real Mexican stuff, so you know. You know the real stuff. Anyways, so you add that cheese. Oh, the cheese looks so beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. Anyways, if you have not, please hit that subscribe button for more. Support me. If you subscribe to me, it helps the YouTube algorithm. So that way, I get more. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, subscribe, please. Thank you. So you continue with that step and make your tacos. So I would suggest that you make this on a Tuesday. You know, make it Taco Tuesday. Yeah. So you repeat that same process, you dip your tortilla in the chili oil, and then you put it in the pan, let it get crispy, you add your meats, you add your cheese, let the cheese melt, and then you take it out, and then you dip it in the consomme, and then you bite it, and you eat it, oh my god, ooh, 2020, oh my god, I said 2020, I meant 2021, uh, 2021 is doing me so well, look at this taco that I made, oh my god, I'm, I'm like a real chef right now. Like, I'm really a chef. Oh, my God. Ooh, anyways. This is the birria taco, guys. I hope you tried this recipe. It's amazing. My family loved it. Oh, my God. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Ooh.
gonna dip it in that consomme. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, you guys, when I tell you this shit is bomb, like it's so freaking good. I hope you tried this recipe and if you do, please let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as a reminder, this was just my recipe. I'm not Mexican, like um, I, that was just me trying something different. Okay, so please do not come for me because I will come for you too. I'm just kidding. I probably will. <laughs> But I'm kidding anyways. Anyways, oh my god, look at the final product. Look how beautiful this look. Like I, I like I said, I'm a real chef. Look at this. Ooh, so beautiful. Anyways, guys, please share this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up again and subscribe to my channel for more. And thank you very much for watching. You have a good day. And I hope the best for you for 2021. Thank you.